Hi guys, how are you all doing? This your girl Fina. Guys, let's do another get ready with me. I saw a video that a makeup artist made. Is it Patrick Tar? I saw his video and I want to see if I can do the same thing that he did. It's just a simple um, everyday look, like clean everyday makeup look. I want to try that today. So what I'll be using is I've done my skincare routine and I've used the Elf Potty Primer. Yeah, the Elf Potty Primer. This is the primer that I use. I've put on my SPF as well. So now let's put on the makeup. So I'm using the um, Too Faced Bond This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut. Yeah, Chestnut. Just my mirror. I just want to see how clean this makeup will look. Let's just see how clean. I saw the makeup, I was like, oh, this is what I need every day. So for blending that, I'll be using my Made by Michu Puff to blend it. I don't want to have like the full Too Faced. If you know this concealer is a full coverage, I just want a nice coverage. If you want a full coverage, which is, the concealer is full, even if you let it rest or not, just let the concealer sit for at least 30 to one minute before blending it. You will have more coverage. For foundation, I don't know if I'm to use this foundation. I've almost finished this foundation. I need to get a new one. This is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hours um, Foundation. This is their matte finish one. And the shade that I use is 500 Walnut. Should I use it or... I'm torn in between using this or the... Let me use the Revlon one since I've picked it up first. Oh, sorry guys. I, let me use this. Let me use this Clinique. Um, so I'm using the Clinique Even Better Makeup SPF 15 Foundation. And the shade is WN122 Clove is what we're using. Oh wait, let me use the palette. I think he put that in a palette. I'm just trying to copy what he did. The concealer is not even the main thing. The main thing is the foundation. So I just want to do what he did. So he puts the foundation in a palette. Not too much, just that much. And let's spray this and see if we need more. And then he went in with a sponge. Like that is my beauty blender. And then sprayed the foundation like that. I think I'm going to need more foundation. Just soaked everything. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Spray it out, spray it out, spray it out. Yeah. So he did like that, sprayed it, sprayed it on the sponge and then he went in on his face. Just made it like your skin was better. I saw that, I'm like, God, this is what I need. You know, if you're someone that love um, tinted moisturizer and you have a foundation and you need this kind of coverage, please do this. I don't know, let me finish before I start advising. This is my first time trying it. Do you see the shade match of this foundation is 100% true to my shade. Just look at that. Do you see how your skin but better this gives? And look at that. If you don't want to do too much, which I don't want to do, I'm going to add a little bit for the other side of my face. So what you do is just go in. What made me stumble on this video is what I don't know. Because I've been thinking of how to wear my foundation and it will look like nothing on the face. If you need more coverage, just the same way, tap it in. Just look at that face. Like literally you can go out like this without nothing. This is proper my skin but better i'm not adding anymore i'm mainly instead of having fine lines and all that you need something light on your face look at my fine line like literally my fine line is almost going around so i just need something this simple so that my foundation or whatever i put on my face won't settle on my smile line i love this so easy i saw it i'm like we are trying this and for bronzer I'm going to do the same thing with the bronzer as well. I'm going to use this Sephora concealer. 
in the shade 65. I'm using another beauty blend. Why am I using this color? It's almost ruined. This is a beauty blender. Just look at that. This one is not wet, but I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the just pat it in, pat it in like that, and then focus that here. Let me concentrate on one side of my face first. Oh. Just see the difference. Do you see how flat this place is? And look at the shadow on this side of my face. Every day we learn new way to do stuff. Once you're alive, you keep learning. You keep learning the good and unlearning the bad. Guys, how do you see my cornrow? Simple. This will be me every now and then. I really like it. I just need something simple. I'm still going to add a little bit of, um, if you just want your skin but better, the concealer is okay, but I just want a little bit more. It feels like I don't have much, but before then, let me put on my blush. Let me use, where is the SPF? I think where is the SPF would be more ideal. Let's do the same thing with the blush as well. Here, girl. You don't learn new till now, we're not going to hear what. I'm going to do with the, yeah, I'm using the same side. I think I'm done with the bronzer. Yeah. So I'm going to use the same side and then just pick up the, what is it? Do the same thing. Mash it up, mash it up. And then put it on my cheek. The higher point on my cheek bone. I'll go in with the concealer again. Just a little bit here and there no air hug god's love and protection love you baby bye be bye. good okay bye baby okay now i'm going to put on my under eye powder i'm using the sephora powder so this is a sephora translucent setting powder is what i'm going to use I'm using my puff. Everything we're doing today, we're doing with a puff. So this is the powder. Just wet it back of my hand with my damp beauty blender. And oh, that's too much powder, girl. That's too much. But that's okay. That's too much, though. That is too much of a powder. I did my lashes myself. I'm going to show you guys my how I do my lashes. I did my lashes yesterday and this will last me for like a week. It's simple. You have they have different um styles if that's what you want, but I always go for the the everyday look one. I did that myself. I'm going to show you with you guys when. I'm going to make a video and show you guys how I apply it and it stays for a week. If you want it more than a week, it can, but I always just leave it for a week and then I'll take it off. Do a little bit of reverse contour. Not too much, just like that. For all of our face powder, I'll be using the Revlon Inflammable 24-hour wear. Um, their foundation. Let's just the own this shade is light i need the a darker shade i need the amber what shade is this again yeah 330 uh, hazelnut 330 hazelnut is what i'm using but i feel like it's light on my skin the finish i like but it's just the shade that i struggle with see just put in down my forehead and then I just go light-handed with it because it's not my shade. If you're using a damp sponge, you have to be careful on how you pack the powder. Just feels like the powder is too much. And there's nothing I can do. It's meant to be a light powder, but I just went heavy-handed and then 
packed everything under my eye. For blush, I'll be using Exhibit A. This blush here, I need a fluffy brush for my blush, but I always use this. Oh, this is too much. Oh, oh, oh. That's too much. T boy. Hello? T boy, are you in school? I'm at school. Okay, now. Yeah. I'm going not for my God's love and protection. Be good, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I love you. Mm -hmm. Bye, baby. Bye. Bye. Uh, for my brow, I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Liner 119. Now let me use let me use the same for my waterline. I'm using the Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette in the shade Super Glow Bronze. And for my lips, I am going to, I don't want to finish my, I'm going to use this Richie. Um, I'm just going to line my lips really light. Do I even need to? No, I'm not using lip liner today. I am going simple. I'm using my Dior Lip Glow color revive um lip glow color reviver balm in the shade rosewood am i lining a little bit this one doesn't have enough shine this is the shade doesn't have enough shine it doesn't have enough shine ball just gives me my lips for better, that's why I like it. Mm, let me use a little bit of a lip liner. Let me use date night. This is my lip liner, by the way, sorry. I just said date night, I didn't even tell you guys. Yeah, that's just about it. And then I will go in with the oil. This is the Lip Glow Oil Color Reviver. This is the shade Cherry, Cherry Oil. The cherry oil will just give it that glow. Simple, it's just my under eye looks dull. I don't like that powder under my eye. The face looks flat a little bit. And I don't want to add more powder so that it won't look. Well, let me, ah, oh, let me add a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury. Let me add a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Powder, number four. Let me just use a little bit of that just, let's see if we can. I don't like the powder, the shade of the Maybelline powder that I put on. Yeah. You can see now, it's a little bit, yeah. It's not looking that flat anymore. The face is not looking that fly anymore. Then I'm going to use the number two. The number two is bright. I've got the number three and the number two. This is number three, this is number two. So I'm just going to use number two to brighten up my... Yeah, let me use it to add a little bit light to the eye. So I'm using the same made by Mitchell Puff. Just to put that here. Oh, ciao. Feels like it's too bright now. This makeup, why? What is, what have I done? What is it? What have I done? It looks too bright. It looks too bright. Hey, Jesus Christ. What have I done? What have I done? I'm using the Trigwell Cosmetics Powder Puff. 
let's try the three because the two is too bright i don't want the two yeah see that <laughs> i've remedied that finally hopefully so for setting my face i'll be using the revolution setting spray yes yeah, so guys this is the beautiful face what do you think i feel like it's simple but i didn't really i'm going to try it again but i think i just went overboard with the under eye powder that's just what's made everything and then the powder that i use is the sephora powder it's not a fine powder so i don't really like what it did under my eye i like using a brush when i use the powder not a puff or a um, what's it called or a sponge i like using a brush but i use a sponge which is a no-no i know the kind of powder that i'll be using a sponge if i want to use a sponge but yeah the powder really but for the foundation is just the main thing look at how the foundation looks like my skin but better that's just the thing that i wanted to try is the foundation so i'm not doing much today i'm just going to work and then i'm going to drop my kids off and then go to work that's basically what i'm doing today so and then hopefully i did this video yeah, so guys, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment. Let me know what you think about the foundation. I feel like that method of applying foundation is so, so good. If you are looking for your skin, but better, like you don't want the foundation to sit on your skin. You just want it to melt into your skin. That is the best way to apply it. I'm so glad I did that. I really like it. So guys, that is it. That is the end of this video. And I will definitely catch you guys again. Above all, don't forget to show yourself love. Okay. See you guys in the next one. Have a lovely day. Bye.